Windley is a full primary Desal 1 school in Porirua East Wellington. The Windley School Library is pivotal to creating readers and developing literacy. The library is integral to classroom reading program and the collection is targeted to meet diverse reading needs and interests. The library welcomes all of the school community and actively promotes preschool literacy. Windley school teachers are readers and actively promote books and reading. Windley school students visit the local Cannons Creek Public Library during school time and after school and often encourage their parents and other family to use the library with them. The collaboration between school and public library is building a community of readers. Well, I guess when we had the library built, we were getting a much larger space. So it's almost in two sections. So we've got the collection in one place and then a, a big space where we had this vision where it was a place for children just to relax and enjoy books and to read together by themselves. So we've got a selection of seating and cushions and it opens out to a lovely deck so in summer it creates a, a nice space at lunch times and, and after school for children to come and relax and enjoy books. Sure. I think um, first and foremost um, we looked at the library as being an uh, integral part of, of the reading program rather than just um, a separate standalone place where, where you go just to change uh, you know, books and so forth. The way that I do it is, um, first of all, it's, it's setting those expectations up um, early in the year about um, the purpose of reading um, in, in all its forms um, and you know what happens at, at that time. Um, on the first day I brought in like, all the reading I'd, I'd had in the holidays and, and just had a pile you know, sitting next to me and, and just said this is what I read in the holidays and went through. I mean the kids were just you know, um, um, really excited about the fact that that's, that amount of reading can be done and so forth. And you know I had boys from there took those books away and went and, and sat there and you know read about Tana Imanga and so forth. Um, and then secondly I guess the other the other um, main area is that the teacher reading time which um, I think is hugely important and, and you know throughout the age range. I mean every opportunity you're saying to the, the children in the class um, you know about the enjoyment of, of reading and so forth and, and you know modelling it and showing it to the children. You know some days it'll be reading the newspaper, some days it'll, it may be reading a magazine or something within the class like the Guinness Book of World Records and, and Ripley's um, graphic novels and, and so you can read a variety of them but always also ensuring that um, you're reading a book that, um, you know, a novel or something that's important to, to shift them on into reading, you know, books that are more substantial in terms of, um, you know, having to read over a number of days and weeks. I talk to, we've got a really good relationship with the local, our local library up at Cannons Creek and um, Bee, the librarian there. I talk with her and she gives me lots of tips on very popular series or books that I might not know about and so we go with that as well. And when I began working here I thought a really good way to build a customer base would be to ring my old friend and say, why don't you bring a class up? And we started doing that, um, started doing that just for Nessa and I and it's sort of spread right through the junior and middle syndicates so that now I think we have nine classes come up and do the kind of thing that's going on in the back at the moment, a fortnight. Well, I guess one of the main things is that the children are aware that it's here and that they come in um, and they get involved as well in the um, holiday programs that B sets up. You know, uh, uh, the home, they come in and do homework, quite large groups of them now. Some of them bring their parents in and use the resources that are here to work interactively with their parents as well, which is just wonderful. The inquiry for um, one of the areas of the school at the moment is around spiders. So we've got a huge display with some spiders around and um, links to within, um, on our intranet with links to um, places on the internet that they can find spider, you know, information around spiders as well. We've got, we use the National Library, so we use National Library books to um, boost our collection because, you know, obviously it's very difficult to have, you know, enough books yes. on, a, on a particular yeah. topic when there's four or five classes studying that. Roald Dahl, we had a focus on Roald Dahl and we had um, a lot of teachers were reading Roald Dahl when they were going into the library, we had a lot of Roald Dahl books out, made links again to websites and information and there were groups of children that um, 
uh, gathered information about Roald Dahl and where, you know, a bit of history around Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and, and classes voted for their favourite Roald Dahl book. Um, so they had Roald Dahl work up at their local library, Roald Dahl work in our library, Roald Dahl work in the classrooms. And then we had this huge, it ended up in this huge assembly where Bee and Donnie from the library came and joined us as well. And it was all around Roald Dahl's stories. Mm. And we've done that before with Harry McCleary when um, it was his birthday. And, and that was nice because Lindley Dodd um, visited the local shopping mall, mm. bookshop there. And, mm. and we took a lot of the work down for her and we'd made a big cake. Not a real cake, but a big cake. And the candles were lists of um, the favourite stories, books that the children mm. had. Um, and that was nice because then she wrote to the school, to the classes, and thanked them and, and talked about it. So we've got, in pride of place, place letter from, from the new mm. dog.